Just the other day, Apple announced the new AirPods in its third generation. Now, in this video, we're gonna be talking about why that is such a huge deal and why a lot of people on YouTube and in the world are overlooking one major plan, and I'm gonna reveal that plan by Apple. Stick around to the end of the video, you don't wanna miss this. And we're meeting for the first time, my name is Eric, I do a lot of classical music content on this channel. If you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, so that way you get notified for when new videos come out. It also helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. So a little while back, I did a video on Apple acquiring a classical music streaming service called Prime Phonic. I'm gonna link a video right over here if you wanna to get to know more about that acquisition. Now, why is this a big deal for the consumers? Because AirPods Max and AirPods Pros have the spatial audio designed in those in those headphones and in those earphones with the latest third generation airpods we finally get the spatial audio that we were lacking in the previous generation what that means is that apple is also prepping themselves up for success so that way they can introduce classical music into their streaming service so let's go to apple's website to talk about how they define spatial audio and here's, here's what it says on the website. Spatial audio with dynamic head tracking places sounds all around you to create a three-dimensional listening experience for music, TV shows, movies, and more. Immersing you in sounds from every direction so it feels like you are in your very own concert hall or theater. I mean, if Apple is not giving that away, then I don't know what else is. So clearly, Apple has a game plan for the long term because right now they're they have this really great spatial audio that's in their in their headsets and in their earphones like the airpods and the airpods pro but what if they are actually producing a better version of the spatial audio because with the acquisition of prime phonic they're gonna introduce more metadata that classical music needs in the streaming services that like Spotify and Apple Music lack, but streaming services like Adagio and Prime Phonic or what used to be Prime Phonic did so well. So is this a long play for Apple? I wanna know your comments down below. I believe personally that it is because I'm thinking that maybe a year or two from now that the spatial audio is gonna get better in the earphones and classical music will finally get the hearing experience that it deserves. You can't really compare you know, listening to classical music in a concert hall to uh, um, to headphones and earphones because they're two very different experiences. Personally speaking, I go to concert halls. I love live music. I perform live music, and I also attend live concerts now that everything is kind of opening up again. But there is a certain demographic, there is a certain population that doesn't have time to go to concerts. And if you're one of those people, you might be that person who might be listening to classical music in their AirPods or in their AirPods Pros or in their AirPods Pro Max. Those people, I think, is what Apple is targeting, that demographic in particular. But also, this is a great boost for classical music because you can have people who were not interested in classical music from the very beginning, all of a sudden they have this amazing audio experience and then they're convinced like, oh my gosh, I you know this is great. Like Beethoven, Brahms, Mozart, you know, Florence Price, all these great composers that are being played, they have it in their earbuds, and then that encourages them to go to the concert hall to see it for themselves in a live setting. Yeah, leave your comments down below. I want to get this conversation going. If you like this video, hit the like button for the algorithm so that way people like you can watch this video. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so that way you get notified for when these kinds of videos come out. It helps me out as a content creator to provide more videos for you. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.